so it is a little early earlier than i expected to be done getting the kids off to school um and so i came over here to target i was just gonna sit in the parking lot like as long as bj was school we were just gonna hang out in the parking lot but it looks like they're uh like their holiday hours have started and they open at seven so i'm about to go ahead and uh i'm about to go ahead and get in here but i don't know like i'm not seeing anybody else going in but they usually open at eight so i don't know i would be i'm gonna be so annoyed if i get bj out of the car and everything and they're not actually open i tried to drive past but i couldn't see from where i was at okay here's somebody come somebody's about to walk in i'm gonna see i'm gonna see how it goes for her and then that'll let me know but she's wearing red so she might work here I don't know. Let's go see. I found it. And I think these may have always, like, these may have already been here. Uh, I think, how much are they, first of all? It's 20 bucks. I think I'm going to get a large. Yeah. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. Oh, they've got some little baby ones on the other side. <laughs> What's that funny? Look. They got a 12. There's a 2T. Let me get BJ one too. Or, I don't know. If I get BJ one, the girls are going to be sad that I didn't get them one. And I'm not trying to spend. $80 on Target sweatshirts. So, I'm going to just give me one. <laughs> so, yeah. That solves that. That solves that. What do you think, JoJo? So, it is packed out in that aisle as always. And all the, but I was able to get a few things that I was looking for. Like these little puzzles that BJ does not want to let go of. But... We got the cute little wooden wooden puzzles. Um, I got the mochis. I got these little turtlenecks and like a little hat set. They had uh, like these sets of gift bags and gift boxes. And the thing off, I was mainly that's really everything I was mainly looking for this week. Um, I didn't see anything else that I would have wanted, but that was out. Like I said, I got, you know, I got the cranberry poppies yesterday. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to... BJ, what did I get you yesterday? I got you strawberries and raspberries. Let's see if they've got any of these, like, little frozen pizzas or refrigerated pizzas that we like. And then after that, I'm going home to get some work done. So what are we doing for iron supplementation? Because <laughs> I am constantly cold, constantly sleepy. And I know like I'm, I had hypothyroidism. And so I know that that is partially re responsible for the metabolism. It's the iron poop. Like I was already supposed to be supplementing the iron and the iron was one of the things, the labs that I went to do Monday was one of the things that like was specifically being looked at. I got the results yesterday and I'm fully expecting a phone call today from my doctor like, have you actually been taking the iron? Which the answer is no, I haven't because I don't like the way it makes me feel. So I need something that it's going to actually help, but it's going to be like gentle, like easy on the stomach, um, et cetera, et cetera. I have been using the blood builder from Mega Foods, but I don't know. I need something and I don't want to do, like I know people do like the infusions or whatever. I don't want to do that, but something's going to have to happen. Because like I said, I'm always cold. I'm always tired and I don't know. Anyway, I am about to, before I dive into work stuff, I am about to go ahead and finalize my tile selections for the house. 
so that I'm not holding up by her from being able to like move forward with that stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I am going to get into some work stuff. BJ is sleeping right now, um, which I am almost certain I'm going to regret letting happen, but hey, we, 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 we go with the flow. Come on. I know it's chilly with me. We gotta go. We gotta go get the sisters. <laughs> yeah. You gonna wait on me? Alright. Come on, we make it quick. <gasps> Good step. <laughs> Big step. I've not gotten really anything done today. <laughs> oh, another day. Let me get him in and I'll talk about it. So it is supposedly 57 degrees outside, but I gotta see what the what the feels like temperature is because this wind chill is <laughs> the wind chill is crazy and I can't get BJ to keep a hat on his head. What is gonna change? Y'all are feels like 54 lie right now. That is a complete lie. And yeah, it's about 22 degrees. <laughs> 22 degrees is the low tomorrow. It's crazy how how much we've deviated from me being like, where is the fall weather? Like, it was hot. It was hot all October. All October, it was like, okay, tell me global warming ain't real. What is this then? And then now, we're on the... Well, I won't say we're on the other side of it. I feel like this is probably normal temperatures for November. I'll have to look and see what historically it supposedly is, but the difference, the difference is crazy. So I am supposed to be doing this exercise where I don't just make like a to-do list. I make a list of things that I actually got done and I have been failing. I have been failing at making sure that to do to put down that list of things that I've gotten done. So let me let me let me think through. Um, I finalized my topics for the house. Y'all saw that. Um, after after I did that, me and BJ uh, BJ woke up. BJ woke up pretty shortly after I was finished with that, and then um, I switched gears and went back to box stuff and I went through my list of items making sure that I had the packaging and everything that I'm supposed to have for that item anything that I didn't have I think I had to order like a couple little bags I ordered the scents for the candles um yeah I ordered I ordered my fragrance oil for the candles and I think this evening I might start putting the labels on my candle jars just so that that's done so that when the fragrance oil comes in I can whatever day that happens I can spend that day making candles and I'll go ahead and just devote a whole work day to that that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna do either when I get home or maybe just depending I'm popping to the store right now so I don't think I'm gonna have time while I'm sitting waiting in the pickup line because I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna be in the pickup line like a long time but um, I'm gonna spend some time making a schedule of how you know of how we're gonna do each of these items some of this stuff um is for the kids to do and we pay the kids they're anticipating getting paid and so i don't i'm not gonna take that from them or whatever but uh we also their 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 job right now their most important job is like their schoolwork and stuff so i can't 
you know, like I some some of the jobs are jobs that I need to do myself, like putting the labels on the jars making sure that those are straight like that's something i need to do myself um but outside of that the other stuff i'm gonna make like a schedule like okay after school we're putting this in the box that it goes in and then on a different day we'll put the labels on um etc cetera, etc cetera, just kind of breaking it up like that um and then i also another to-do list item for me is fixing the Mahogany Heights website right now. It's just a bunch of logos, but I wanna actually, um, and I can I can lean on in development, which is the reference document for that. I can lean on in development to turn that into a list of books that center, you know, whatever, uh, whatever businesses or mention whatever businesses. So I can spend some time with that, but you know what I need? I need, I need a book marketer i need a marketer not you know like not necessarily you know help with posting on social media or what i need an actual marketer like i need a branding person and for so long you know i've been doing this for 10 years i've had to be the marketer and the branding person but that's not my like that's not my thing I think that a lot of people mistake that as being my thing because I can make stuff look good. Like I'm I'm a I'm a designer, like I'm <laughs> like I can do a visual, like I can put a visual together, like that is you know, that is a skill of mine. But the actual marketing part, like as far as like the real science and the real profession behind it that's not me like that's not my forte and i would much rather just pay someone who that is their forte like professionally like here is my list of you know brands that i've worked with you know here's how i turned this brand into this or this brand into that and i earlier in the year we had someone that we were going to work with on something similar to that and i think I th things were just kind of getting lost in communication for one um and for two um it, it was a big investment it was a very big investment um which is scary which is always scary and you know it it, it just didn't work out and it's nothing against you know nothing against her nothing against her you know her company or anything like that um I'm, of course, I'm not about to <laughs> name drop, but you know, I would still, you know, I would absolutely recommend her and all of that. But I just, I, it, we just couldn't get it together. We just couldn't get it together. And I think that, um, I think that for her, you know, she needed, she needed someone who was not, I guess, afraid to kind of like just jump out there and take the risk and really be really like super duper trusting and all of that, which, you know, she deserves and I think is I think is a valuable thing um I'm just not in that place <laughs> I'm just not in that place and so I would need to be able to I think take it a little bit slower or have a little more control I don't know but I do know that I don't my brand and business do not look like what I would want it to look like to be a decade in and I feel like people I feel like people or like kind of on the outside looking in see the business my business see warm he's creative in a certain way that i don't see it as you know and my husband who works very very closely with me who is a partner in warm he's creative and absolutely has his hands in certain things um he's re he's 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 ready <laughs> he's ready um but i think that i think that because this is like my baby you know what i mean um i think it's just a little more i think it's just a little more scary for me and i don't know but there are just so many things that i want to do um a lot of things that i have done but so many things that i want to do risks that i want to take um that i just have not been able to kind of push myself over you know over over that barrier and it's frustrating because a lot of times I have to watch other people do things that 
I wanted to do two years ago and I still haven't done it. Don't get me wrong. I, they're not copying me because I haven't said shit about it. So it's not like they're copying me. They organically, you know, had their own idea or maybe they saw the same thing that I saw, saw, you know, the missing lane that I saw, you know, and was too chicken to do anything about it, but they did it. And like, that's fabulous for them but for me <laughs> it's like come on christina like you you've been thinking about that exact thing for three years and didn't do anything about it like what are you doing but uh yeah that's my uh that's my that's my that's my spiel for now <laughs> i've said too much <laughs>